Good morning. It's Shay and Silver Lake. Ooh, look at all those jet streams. Oh, wait, let me start over. Good morning. It's Shay and Silver Lake. It's 51 degrees. The high is supposed to be 78. There's no wind right now. I'd like to say hello to all of the subs and the unsubbed people whose fingers are apparently broken. Oh, the boost is coming out with me. Huh, <laughs> so. Is he coming out? Is he cocoa potties? Is he good boy? He likes to come out with me in the morning. That's like his gig. Unless I come out too early. Then he's like, uh -uh. I'll wait for the second round. Lots of sunflowers popped up. Those ones are going to be um, the dwarfs. They'll be about one to two feet tall. And have a really poofy yellow center. These are the bigger ones out here on this side of the fence. I see quite a few of them are starting to pop up. So maybe the birds didn't get all the seeds. I got some good ones over here. See the bigger ones. Ooh, look how boofy those got oh, just after one day. Wait, why is Bruce barking? Oh, they have sprinklers way over there now. Fancy, fancy. These got really big too, these echinaceas. And there is my asparagus. This top piece didn't do good. Break that off. Throw it in there. But I am getting some seeds. Let it seed out. That's what I always do. Let everything see. Oh, it's a little bit windier out here. Should put the glove on the phone. There's a couple sunflowers I saw. There's one. Here's one. That? This is an iris. I don't know how an iris got over here. That's weird. Oh, I can hear my daughter laughing. Serenity is sleeping. She has two videos lined up today with the socks. I think she's doing Twizzlers and watermelons or Doritos or cheese Cheetos or something. I don't remember what she's doing. It's really weird, though, because she'll do the video and then YouTube will keep turning her comment section off. So, I have to keep going back in and turning it on. Because she goes and checks her own video on her little iPad thingy. And you two keeps turning her... It's just, they don't even have any comments on the videos. <laughs> There's like only a couple of comments here and there. And they're like nothing. But for some reason, YouTube keeps turning them off and I have to go back in. She finds it, tells me, and then I gotta go turn it back on. We worked on this yesterday. Clearly, it's not all the way dry. It's like there's... Oh, there's like water in there. Hmm. It's not sticky. I don't know. I always got to stick my fingers in stuff. Like, why? Why do I do that? Look how big that has gotten. My sidewalk is like... It's encroaching. I'm going to have to dig that chunk out. We played golf yesterday a whole bunch. Lost a golf ball. But it wasn't too bad because it was 3-3. Three to three. Serenity got 3 in. I got 3 in. And then one had like somehow got underneath one of the cones. And we were out here just scouring, looking, looking, looking. Couldn't find it. And then I, for the last... I just decided to pick up the cones, and then it rolled out from underneath there. So, it was 3-3 three three yesterday. Uh, this is like a cluster back here. It's like all the seeds went down here or something. There's like clusters of them. I don't know. Ooh. Oh, this one's looking much better, too. I did extra coats. I know that it's going to take a lot longer for it to dry and stuff, but Serenity put some glitter. 
She picked green for the outside, and we did white, but green got in it. But we did white glitter on the inside, and then we put the con we sealed it with the sealer spray, then slapped on more of that concrete sealer until I ran out of that stuff. Ugh, it took me forever to run out of it. I will say that it it did last a long time. I'm really surprised at this um, mum over here. That is the smallest I've ever seen it. Since I moved it, I moved it over here last year. I thought it would just really do well over here, but either that doesn't like bark or something's happened. Then look at this asparagus. It's all upset. I have a bunch of new ones coming up, so it's not that big of a deal. I still have like two years to wait on these. But there's a bunch of them coming out of the ground. And these ones are a lot bigger. So maybe next year I'll get to eat some. I don't know. It looks like it's pulling out of hate and life. But dang. These ones back here. This, this orange one's doing amazing. I might have to pull this um, bachelor button. Because it's just... I'm trying to let it bloom though. I'd like to see what color it is because I have pink, blue, a like a bluish purple. I have like a light bluish, like bluish silver. And I have like a darker pink and then a lighter pink. That I originally planted them in this bed and then the wind blows the seeds all throughout. But bachelor buttons are non-toxic, so it doesn't really matter to me. I'll just pluck them out if I don't want it somewhere. Not a big deal. That one back there just looks toasted. I transplanted that one and it's fine. So I don't know. Oh, yesterday when I was fiddling around in here, look what I found. That's a papa. It's a papa. Papa, 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 papa. It's either going to be, oh, I guess they're the same. So it'll, at least I put the same ones in here because sometimes I don't do that. So then my garlic's doing good. I didn't even fiddle with the trees because I haven't seen any deer tracks lately. I guess they said in town that, Um. okay, so yesterday after we did our video, my son was like, let me take you girls to lunch. So me and my granddaughter Serenity, which is my daughter's daughter, met up with my son at the fast break in town. And we went over and we saw Alicia at the restaurant. And Serenity loves going out to eat. And we don't get to go very often. So it's really important for her to have that experience to be able to sit down. We're the only ones in the restaurant anyway, so we're loud and obnoxious. And uh, we had a good time. I don't know where I was going with that story. Oh, while we were there, Patty, my other neighbor. So Alicia's one neighbor and Patty lives on the other side. Patty said that there was like six to eight foxes in town right now. And that they're just, like, killing all of the domestic cats. And she had eight cats, and I guess she's down to three in this last week. And I told her, I said, I saw a fox yesterday. He was on my, um, on my journal, diary, I don't know what this is called. Blog? Blog? I don't know. Uh, and he didn't have anything in his mouth. He was running back and forth right through here. Alan doesn't have any pets. Neither does Linda right here. My two neighbors, all my neighbors down there, they do have cats, but they also have dogs. There's three dogs that live on this, six dogs there. She has a big, mean cat, so I don't know. I mean, that cat is huge. And he, look at all these jet streams. There's like an air... Air Force Base or something somewhere. Okay, so my echinaceas are doing... Look how floofed up they are. Like, just... 
in the last couple of days, they've just really floofing up. I think it's because my tree limb is in the way. There's still one little dot on that mountain. Hey, God. I have done nothing with this. <laughs> nothing. Nothing at all. Okay. There we go. Got all kinds of stuff popping up in here. Oh, those peonies. Those peonies, if you live in the desert, these are rocking. I mean, it does take, like, they usually bloom about June. But man, they smell amazing. They have a way stronger scent than a rose, and they smell so much better, too. I think. That is my opinion. But again, I am not a professional anything. I'm a professional me. I'm a professional Shay. That's broccoli. Sunflower over there. This is a California poppy. I just let those go anywhere they want to. <laughs> Might as well. Oh, that's a pumpkin. <gasps> There's another pumpkin. And that is a sunflower right there. But though there's two pumpkins back there. Oh, there's a third. There's another sunflower. And there's a lot of weeds. Man, the weeds have gone crazy back here. <gasps> I must step over. Oh, man, I have to watch where I step now because I plant things everywhere. Those are watermelon. I have to weed this. Are you kidding? Oh, that's a cantaloupe right there. Right here is a cantaloupe. And then right through here are um, marigolds. Marigold, mar look at those uh, raspberries are really poofing out too. I don't know what to do. I need to get a bigger container because I want to have a nice raspberry patch. I think that's broccoli with sunflowers back there. Man, all these weeds. It's a different weed. I haven't pulled this weed this year. And this is something too. It's a watermelon. There's another watermelon. I must have popped in a few seeds along the edge. That's what I do is I run around and I plant, 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 plant in every space that I can find. And then I don't mark anything because the wind just blows all the little taggies. This is broccoli all over the place. So it's pointless. Peas, onions, lettuce. It's supposed to be carrots over there. I don't know what's going on. Or wait, maybe carrots are down here. Hmm. Don't know. Eventually, though, when I keep doing this, eventually one day I'll be able to look at the little tiny leaf and be like, that is such and such, and such and such, and such and such. I can do it with some stuff, but not very much. I saw a hummingbird for the first time yesterday, so I filled up my hummingbird feeders <laughs> with that store bought stuff. I don't mix my own. I just buy the store-bought stuff. One baggie fills up both um, hummingbird thingies. And it takes them a while. So, you know, this is going to be really pretty this year. This is like a... It, burned, it blooms these big burgundy flowers. They're so pretty. I don't know what it is. I got out of the dollar store. It was in a mixed thing, and that was the only thing that came. My onions, of course, are doing amazing. Bruce's bowls aren't that dirty. By, if it gets really windy, a lot of dust gets in there, and I have to empty them and redo them. Oh, see? That's what I did with that log thingy. That was my idea. Might as well just recycle it. 
Oh, I can't wait till this dries. And I can put this all back together. I had to move their water thingy, this little thing, which it's, this was full yesterday. Um, over here until this dries because I like to prop it up right there. It's just what I like to do. It's, the birds could care less. My tennis racket that I can't figure out. I think I want, what I'm going to do with these side thingies is empty them out. And... Is that a piece of... What is this? A piece of glass. A bird dropped a piece of glass in here. Really? Um... Empty them out and maybe use them for lights. Like maybe I could wrap some lights or something. I don't know. But they they make terrible hanging um, baskets. So my my second level, I don't think is gonna happen unless they're really big containers. Because out here the can it things just dry out too fast. I think. Maybe, maybe that's what the problem is. Oh, hello, handsome boy. You're my hunk of hunk of burning love. What are you doing, old man? Sunbathing? Sunbathing this early in the morning. All my leaves fell off my fig tree because I left it outside. But I got some new stuff coming back. Same thing I did last year. you think I would have learned last year, but... Didn't learn nothing. Turned around and did, it, did the same thing. I wonder if these people are moving in over here or if it's the original owners. And they're just visiting. I don't know. They turned the sprinkler on. I saw it. Oh, and then they had the um, people were riding the little sand rail sand duny things again yesterday that was cute watching all right i'm going to wish you a very 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 good day i hope many of you still have the day off and oh look how much that's bloomed my wildflower bed choo, choo. it's just getting big my son still hasn't helped me and it's not see it's still draining slowly I need to remind him to help me level this out. And um, help it get to draining. I want it to drain. Alrighty. So I will wish you a very good day. My ear is feeling a lot better. I'm still wearing the cotton though. Because I want it to be 100% healed. And I'm going to work on this. See, I brought over another post. And I got this other thing from the post office. That they're not no longer using this mop um, design. They have something different now. So they no longer need this. And she was trying to figure out how to get it in the trash can. Or break it down to get it into the post office trash can. And I said, no. I will take it. I will take this and utilize it because I am the lady with no yard stakes. <laughs> Tried to buy some at Bymar, but they only had like the three and four foot ones. So, this will become another yard stake. Because I too do not have that kind of mop. So, you know. So it's going to be a yard stake. That's what's going to happen to it. Just like that one. Just like this pole. Became a yard stake. Because, you know. Oh, I love wood. This is what I have left that I'm like hoarding. Because I know I'm going to think of. Well, because when I'm done with the bird baths and I have to put sticks across them and all that stuff so that the birds can have and it helps keep the water shaded so it doesn't get really too hot you know and it gives them stuff to land on 
or you know be able to grab onto or especially like for like the bees and stuff like this this I usually put across like this like that and what with, with this one it is easier for the bees because they could just go they swim to the edge and then they crawl out on the edge but I like the sticks to be shaded and to have perches and then I put that um, this piece goes in here. Well, right now I can't put it in there, but I balance it perfectly. And then it keeps all the water shaded down below. And the birds don't poo-poo ka -poo as much in this one. They usually poo-poo ka -poo on my flowers as they do that one. Over there, it's like that is like the dumping one. This one they're pretty clean into down here. But that one right there, it's like dump central. Oh, I thought I saw some dill popping up yesterday, but it's when I'm watering, I see a lot more than when. I'm not watering, I guess, because I'm standing there staring at it. Well, I'm wishing you a very happy day. Happy, happy, happy day. Seren's still sleeping. My son's already up. My daughter's up. My son was up. My, one, my autistic grandson, Ryder's up. Because he's usually the second one up. I can hear him yelling. Rawr! 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 In the morning, he's so hilarious. <laughs> and it's just the way he... That's just how he talks. Uh, it was like six, seven months ago. He said a bunch of words to me. And then nothing since. Except for the other day, I thought he said door. But because I'm not 100%, we don't count it. Like, because sometimes he, he does... He will repeat a word. But it's very rare. And it just depends. And sometimes we think we hear things and then we're not sure. So we don't count. I wonder what they're doing. Maybe they, they didn't sell the house. Maybe they're just moving. Maybe it is the sons. And they're just moving what they want into the big thing while they show the house. Or, I don't know. I was kind of hoping to have new neighbors. But, we'll see. We'll see. I like having, I like my neighbors. I love all my neighbors. Like them all. They are awesome. Good people. So, I think it's like, oh yeah, the sign in, in town says, no silver, no lake, just Good people. No silver, no lake. All right, you guys have a wonderful day. Is that like a gopher mound or something right there? I need to tell my daughter. It's a little too close to my house. I know she was having a rabbit problem over there. I don't know about that. That looks new. All right, have a wonderful day. Bye, you guys.